a long time I didn't eat them something and them cliding and I want me eating you know? I wanna love, 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 love. Every day and every night, every night. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So I am feeling blessed, blessed, blessed. <laughs> Hello, pack up. Um, so I'm in my cap because I kind of did plan to show you guys my new hairstyle, which is a part but it grew out so if you guys did follow me on instagram which you guys should do now you would have seen the hairstyle so when the hairstyle come back i take off the cap but yes yeah, so i am here today to do a really quick video a little mukbang caribbean snack mukbang chit chat let's talk about what's been happening on the internet kind of video um but before you do anything before you do anything we have something to talk about it's very important guys this week I received my first ever payment from YouTube. Let us roll up applause. And that's because of you guys. It's because you guys watch. It's because you guys subscribe. And for those of you who are here who have not yet subscribed, do that now. And for those of you who are subscribed, who have not clicked the notification bell and tweet me and say how oh, rush cam do make any video since you reach 10,000 subscribers, do that now. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys so, so, so much. So today's video is inspired by a video that I saw on the internet the other day. Um, American people try Caribbean snacks. So I was like, let me react to it. But then I was like, I just want to eat the snacks and talk to you guys because these are some of my favorite childhood snacks and I have my water and everything so yeah let's get into it so the first snack that they spoke about was like cheese tricks but I could find cheese tricks at the supermarket so I got cheese volts monster curls which is glorified cheesies anyways mm. A long time I didn't eat them something and them cliding and I want me eating them. They were saying that them it froze for true. Them cheese snacks here always frozen. But here's what I want to talk about. So the other day, hold on, I turned on the fire because my nah sweat out my face today. So right, so a few days ago. Usain Bolt did an interview with um, the Gleaner where he spoke about, well, defended his coach, his former coach, Coach Glenn Mills because some of the runners who run with Coach Glenn Mills said that him this and him that and him stay bad and whatever. Well, Bolt came out. No ball, no bars, no stones unturned. I tell you, him taught the things them, him said about how some of them are trying to fit them shoes. He called the names by the way, but I'm not gonna do that. Who try to fit them size 10 shoes in a size 8, size 10 foot in a size 8 shoes and all those things. I you know, I thought, wow. You know why I, I was wow that whatever? The first of all is that it's so you must talk with your chest. When things happen, you must talk with your chest and speak up. Because let me tell you, if the fastest man in the world said that his coach is one of the best coaches in the world, um, the proof is there. I believe him. Furthermore, him said that those men were running with Coach Glenn Mills at the top of their career. He took them to the top of their career, but they're resentful because you know what they want? Them, them want to resist the process. And that is something that I did learn in law school. Don't resist the process. When you coach and when you teach and when the people them in front of you say to you, do something, you want ugly, you want a kick, 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 kick. No, do what you're supposed to do. And the thing about it too is that it's obvious that he's hurt at the fact that like everybody is pointing fingers on somebody and they always want to blame people for why they're wrong. And like, Bolt, follow what him said and look at Bolt. Mm -hmm. Look at Bolt. Mm -hmm. We're moving on to Bigfoot. 
Well, we'll move on to Bigfoot. And we'll continue to talk about the boat thing. Hmm. Yeah, we'll um, one of the things too that strikes me about Bolt is that Bolt is not somebody who speaks a lot in the media about his career. He just made the work talk for itself. And it was very interesting to me to see him come out and call names. When people call names, it's a serious thing, you know. Furthermore, you see, somebody said it on Twitter today and I never thought of it. Bolt never really, Bolt was raised with his father and his mother and his father is a disciplinarian according to him. And so I am compelled to believe that Bolt is accustomed to a male figure, a male authoritative figure. So him don't feel that sort of resentment and rebellion against them as another athlete would feel where them say whatever. My favorite part of the interview is when Bolt said the man said to him, I'm rich, me rich. And Bolt is like, you know rich? You rich, you know rich? But anyway, move on. So I have to come back now to try the Bigfoot because Wow, wow, how? I, how many people does it take to open a Bigfoot? Anyway, so the, the Bigfoot stood out to me in the video because it's like the people them never taste something so nice yet. Ooh, oh my I know. God! I'm sorry. <laughs> this is really good. This is really good. First of all, they're like, oh, it's a foot. It's a foot, man. And it's this and it's a Bigfoot smells like seasoning. It smells like. Mm, I don't recall Bigfoot having such a strong smell when I was younger. Mm, but anyway. Mm hmm. Them right. The man said, whoa! Nice for true. But yeah, since this looks like a lion foot, let me talk about this. I understand the Lion King thing and I understand that um Beyonce is in the cast but my god my god my god my god why every single interview have to have Beyonce no Beyonce don't do any interview you know but they're talking and it's like how does it feel being in a movie with Beyonce did you see Beyonce when he went into the into the studio? Do you think Beyonce brought Jay-Z to rehearsals? Do you think and I'm just like, alright, we get it. Wow, this is really good. This was not this good when I was younger. Yeah, but I'm saying like we get it. Like we get it. We get we get it. We get it. Beyonce is Beyonce. Yes. But the movie don't name Beast King. The movie name Lion King. She's not a lion and she's the queen. She's not the king. So therefore, ergo, relax. Relax. And from what means to Beyonce Mount, now I move with the lion mouth. And it does sound good. Unpopular opinion. But relax. Re relax. Hmm. Comment down below if you've ever had Bigfoot. And if it, if you love it, actually, don't think I will eat all the snacks in the video. Think I will eat like um, probably a rough tops or something else because this bigfoot is so good. And since we're on the thing about land thing and movies and whatever, I also want to talk about Ariel. Now, them say they're upset because the girl who got the role of Ariel. It's black. Now let's talk. One, have you ever seen a mermaid? Two, have you ever seen a mermaid? Three, have you ever seen Ursula? Ursula is a wicked queen octopus lady. Have you ever seen one of those? No. So fair retails don't have restrictions. 
if you can have an eight foot octopus lady under the sea with purple face and white hair with a mole on her, we can have a black mermaid. It's not that serious. Relax. My God. But then now, what strikes me now is that a lot of people racism just coming out. They're like, oh my God, I don't know why Ariel is black and she has red hair, blah, 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 and she's Norwegian and we never say, first of all, there are black people in Norway. Second of all, it's international waters. The crab is Jamaican. How the Jamaican crab reach all the way over there? If it's not international waters, great, Ariel is black and that's that and that. You know? I understand the idea of, about having like representation in different areas and whatever and sometimes I really think it's unnecessary because people people's reality does not always have a diverse um, group of people so not because I am black and I want to see black people on TV me not every show must have black people in it I believe so personally that you know not every show will have a black person. Not every show will have a fat girl. Not every show will have a person of the LGBTQ community. Not every show will have a Christian. Not every show will have a Jew. Not every show will have an Asian. Because if that were the case, then the, the casts would be like massive. But at the same time, you can't whitewash everything. That was just an aside. Back to the real point. I don't see what's the issue with having the girl as Ariel. Cinderella was black. Her prince, the father was, no, the, the boy was Asian, the prince was Asian, that's Brandy's prince, he was Asian, the father was white, the mother was Whoopi Goldberg, and the fairy godmother was Whitney Houston. And it did nice. I never seen nobody uh, complain. Move it in nice. So everybody just pack up. Pack up with the racism. Pack up with the. Pack up. That's not nice. I don't love that on you guys. I don't like racism on you guys. Pack up. Hello? I'm gonna drink some water. Hold on. Oh, big up Zamaica. Bad lunch coming soon. So now we move on to rough tops. My, 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 my earliest recollection is that my mother used to be obsessed with rough tops, right? But the thing is, the way them going on in the video about the rough tops, you know, I just don't remember it being something that I liked. I remember it being very, very heavy on the palate. But maybe I was too young because. And I remember being tougher than this. It's not as tough. This question was in my QA and I did not get to answer it, so I'm answering it for you guys. How do I feel about Jamaicans or people of Jamaican descent? Who live abroad who identify as Jamaicans do I think that they are the same as Jamaicans who live in Jamaica some Jamaicans who live abroad have such a very close connection to Jamaica because of their relatives and friends who um, cook Jamaican food and play Jamaican music and share Jamaican stories and observe Jamaican holidays and are so closely connected to the culture but I must agree that it's just not the same as living in Jamaica however I'm not one of those people who is going to look at you and say because your experience is not mine you are not authentically Jamaican you understand what I'm saying so it's just that our experiences are different but we're all the same and by the way let me just attack this right here right now since I have the audience for those people who are saying that Kamala Harris is not black, she is Jamaican, please, please stop it. Jamaica is not a race. Jamaica is not a race. Jamaican is a nationality. So you can be Chinese and Jamaican. You can be Indian 
and Jamaican. You can be black and Jamaican. You can be white, Caucasian, sorry, and Jamaican. Black is the race. She's black Indian or whatever she is. I cannot go. And um, when I apply for my embassy visa, whatever it name, them don't ask me, what race are you? Jamaican. No. Nationality, Jamaican, race, black. Boom. That's that and that. Please wipe the ignorance out of your eye corner. I'm gonna love that. Sorry. Guys, I had to go back to the big food. I'm I'm so sorry. They also tried Chiquita's banana chips, Chiquita. Oh, it's Chiquita with the girl. We got so oop and a oop. I'm not eat that now. I'm not eat the shell biscuit now. I'm going back to big food. But last but by no means least, here's what I want to talk about. So Spice posted on her live talking about her baby father who is saying that she's an irresponsible and unfit mother. I made a video about fatherless day. I hope my father full of chat, right? Let me just say this before we go. The fathers have a way of trying to cast a bad light on the mothers and seeing that they're not doing enough. But sometimes they're right, the mothers are not doing enough and the mothers are stretched thin and the mothers not showing up for the PTA meeting and like Spice, the mother they're firing every minute. But you know why she stretched that thin, Mr. Spice? It is because you are not present. It is because she has to work twice as hard to make sure that her children can afford the lifestyle that she wants them to afford because she is basically, for all intents and purposes, a single mother. You understand? So, you're right. She stretched thin and she over yes and she over this and she'll do this and she'll do that. But it's because you're not there, sir. Pack up. Big foot done. But yeah, that was like a little chit chat with you guys while I eat some Caribbean snack. Talk about bold and Lion King. Let me know if you guys are excited to watch Lion King because me not feel like it's a good nice. <laughs> me not feel like it's a good nice. But fingers crossed. But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Um, I thinking that we should find a name to call ourselves. Is it the Pack Up Crew? Are we the Pack Up Crew? Who are we? Yeah, we should figure that out. But yeah, blessings depa no no. Blessings depa ya mama. Blessings depa ya papa. Blessings depa all of you know. So tell the devil to pack up. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.